Hey everybody, Rich Sanford here. Uh, wanted to kind of follow up from a post I made the other day about Revit families or just families and or blocks or whatever it is in, in other um, other BIM software. Um, and actually just show you a quick video of one of the Revit families I use that helps with a lot of uh, productivity. So I'm gonna switch over to Revit and show you a project here. Uh, this is just a second and third floor addition on an existing um, Trinity, or it's, it's a small row home in Philadelphia. Trinity is kind of like a, a style of a, a row home throughout the city. Um, I'm sure it's probably in other, other cities as well, but really small, like uh, 45 feet deep, 15 feet wide. Um, this, this client here wanted to do a second and third floor addition to uh, accommodate their, uh, their growing family. So, but it's very typical wood construction with, uh, you know, wood frame walls, uh, floors, and, uh, and, and ceilings and roofs. So, um, this is kind of, I've, I've kind of hid, hid a few things, hid the families that I'm about to show you, but, you know, but basically it's modeled as typical wood construction, you know, the floor coming up to the, you know, the floor framing coming out to the sheathing, um, et cetera. There's a little unique situation there, but, um, it doesn't really necessarily we don't have to focus on that for for this so um so yeah so you have everything modeled the walls and the floors kind of join kind of how they, how they want to but it really doesn't the drawing itself doesn't really pop so i have found that when i'm doing the documentation i want a little bit more um, added um depth i guess to the drawings actually i had the thin line tool turned on so let me turn that off so I mean you can see the dark lines and whatnot but you know typically or not typically but how I used to always do this was I would go into the annotate you know put the components grab um the is it dimensional or nominal I think it's oh it's nominal sorry let me just put nominal you know you had the uh you know two by six this is kind of like an out of the box you know, you put the, put that here, you know, put it up, oh, I thought I was in here, you know, put one at the, at the windows, you know, flip it here, do the, do the header, do a double top plate up here, and then um, also, you know, you know, the, the plywood here, at least in, in the, the wall family that I have, you know, it's just shown as just kind of two lines, you know, we might want to have additional thickness there. And the, I think this is, what is this? Oh, this is stucco in this situation. But if it was vinyl siding, you know, you, you might add a few layers here, but then you would have to do it on, you know, this is what I consider a building section. And then, then actually this, this project's kind of small, but um, uh, other, other projects, I may have building sections and then a full wall section at, you know, at a, at a if this is at what is quarter scale, you know, maybe it's a half or, th or three quarter scale. Um, in this case, I had this building section and then I have some details, you know, for like, for example, this unique situation I have here. Um, so, but it was very repetitive, you know, I'm adding the, um, you know, adding the different, uh, um, two buys throughout. And it's just like, you know, one, two, let's just say there's 10 total that, it, that you would add. Um, and then, you know, my, for the situation, even though it is here, like if I go back to thin line, I do have a, the drywall here and it's kind of a thick line, but you might want the, um, you know, the, the typical components. So I'll just go to, um, I think it's just gypsum. Yeah. Yeah. So like, oh, that is, that's the family. Um, the drywall. Actually, you know what? I'll just go to plywood. I know plywood's there. Yeah. So plywood. I mean, this could be drywall, but you know, they have the uh, kind of line based and you can see here, again, let me turn thin lines on, you know, it has that, that hatch pattern for, for the, the, um, the plywood, but you know, the, the same thing for, for drywall, but you have all of these individual components that um, you would add as a, an additional layer of detail onto, um, onto the model element. So I'm going to unhide this. I just have it on temporary hide. So the family itself is actually a bunch of those components together. So what I have here is I have some of the, I have a floor framing, you know, so that the, the you know, the end joist, um, uh, the, not the header, but the sill in this case, and the, the bottom plate. And I actually also have um, drywall 
here. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm just going to copy it so you can kind of just see it individually and come over here. Um, and I have a bunch of um, uh, parameter or not. Well, yeah, um, parametric parameters where um, I can change the thickness of this. So in this case, I have two by six walls, but if they were two by eight, I can do I can change it in two 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 ways. Either I can come here and adjust using grips, and obviously if it's in the model thing, you know I can grip it and you know kind of hit hit a hit a line for it. Or I can go over here again. Being BIM is put the actual you know seven and a quarter inch, and it adjusts the um, the width of the uh, of the the stud wall. You know two by fours, whatever. Um, but yeah, but I would actually just again just change it there. Um, the other nice thing about this is this family works. You know, so I, I can also adjust the floor floor framing. So if this is you know a two by twelve. Can change that it'll change the thickness and go down um, but what if i had a situation where this was uh, you know a concrete slab well i actually have a visibility parameter here where i can turn the fuller framing off and it's just the the framing for the um you know for the wall and also you can see if you if you look here i have another one for double head so if i have a, a double top plate i can add the double top plate and again it's all adjusting you know um, as needed. Again, I can go grip, you know, this can adjust to whatever the height is, etc. So, so I have one for floor framing, but I also have another one here, very similar in concept, but I have it for situations where there's a window head. So, um, same deal in terms of, it gets a little, well, you can see here, um, as I change the, the width of the wall, the spacing of the header on the windows adjust. So I still have them evenly spaced. Um, I only have it set, let me see if, I wanted to see if I have, nope, okay. I thought I had something to, to adjust it. So like, th th there's a way you can do it. Like if, as you increase the width, you could have, you know, four or five headers. And I mean, this is kind of a, <laughs> you know, one and a half foot uh, thickness you know typically it's about three three studs wide um for that but but the same same type of deal um you know i have the single top plate the double top plate um for that i can adjust the height um, and i keep the drywall and then also i have a, a family type so i have half inch drywall i have five eighths inch drywall and actually i even have i even have one for no drywall you know, so, um, and then the insulation here. Th these are just the insulation lines that the um, that are used. You know, for the, you know, under annotate. Where is it? Uh, no, insulation right here. Um, so these are just the insulation lines um, that are kind of the Revit out of box. But they, they, again, this is one of the this is one of the things where I was finding myself doing the same things over and over again for every project, you know, putting in, you know, so for example, this here, I have one, two, three, three components, um, you know, the sheet of drywall on the inside. Um, and it was just like a repetitive task. So I was finding that these repetitive tasks can be, you know, I can kind of limit the amount of time spent um, drawing these, these repetitive items. Um, um, over and over again on every on every project by creating a family that um, that I basically rather than you know having one two three four five different items it's one item and I just adjust it accordingly to what the model is and um, and move on um, another thing just real quick and I'll just wrap this up uh, with this is um, one of the things I like to do, I think I have a, a old YouTube video somewhere too about this, but when I get into, you know, whether, I, like if I would had a call out for a wall section, or in this case, I have a call out for a detail, let's go to the detail actually, is some of these elements, when I start this detail, um, I'll come back, you know, I'll start, I'll take whatever detail elements are within that window so for example what i'll do is i'll just window this do uh, a selection filter 
go to detail items and in this case I also want the insulation I don't think there's any other detail no no that's it just those so I just have those selected and I just do a simple copy go to the new detail and do a paste uh, here actually let me just do the copy so that the paste will show up and you can go to paste um, align to current view and then all of those elements they would I mean they're obviously already in here but um, if I did align to current view they would drop in the same spot um, and then um, and then I could do the you know the additional information so you can see here in this detail I, you know obviously I have a little bit more you know um, this is that family that I that I was just showing you um, you know obviously here's the insulation lines um, and then I get you know a couple other detail items for plywood, stucco, and etc. So, um, but yeah, it's 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 been a big time saver for me. Uh, majority of my work is, re is is wood frame construction, so this family was really handy. Uh, it is really handy for me to um, you know with pro productivity throughout. So, no, it went a little long. Um, looks like I went a little bit more than ten minutes here, but I did want to just show you this uh, real quick as a. Um, you know, a way. To, hopefully, this can maybe help help some of you to uh, think differently, or or start thinking of like, oh, what are some repetitive things that I do that I could create a family um, like this to save some time. So, um, hope that's helpful, and uh, hope everyone is doing well, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you soon. See ya.